Did you drive that thing all the way from Paris mate? Shouted the motorcyclist while we were stuck in a traffic jam in Hyde Park corner, he'd seen the Paris license plates in the left hand drive, but of course that would have been a very time consuming exercise because the Citroen Amis 5.5 kWh battery only gives it range of 43 miles and a top speed of 28 miles per hour. Speed and range might not sound like much, but the Amy is the forerunner OFA new breed of electric car that is designed for a specific role, shopping, and commuting, and to embrace new attitudes to car ownership. High-speed performance is not an issue, not least in a city like London which often has a 20 mph speed limit anyway. And in London currently, 28 miles per hour can often be the heady heights of speed because city traffic management favoring cyclists has a snarled up London traffic even more than usual. It's very affordable. If you buy it outright it will cost around €6,000 $7,300 after tax and before government grants, or for the new breed of car users, you can lease it by the hour or the day from the likes of free to move. You can plonk down about €2,000 $2,425, and lease it for €19.99 $25 a month. The Amy is built to save money everywhere. The interior is plain plastic. The seat feels a bit skimpy and small. There is a demister and fan, and cradle for your smartphone. There's no rear view mirror. You line up the wing mirrors by hand. The windows don't wind up and down, they are split in the middle and you punch the lower bit and it swings outwards and upwards to the vertical and clips in place. Older readers may remember the Citroen 2CV window operation. This is exactly the same. There's no trunk, but there is some space behind the driver and passenger for a couple of briefcases. The passenger seat is set back a little so there's room for a weekend suitcase in the footwell, possibly. You can charge it fully in three hours from a standard household plug. Once inside it doesn't feel tiny because the screen is quite away in front of you giving the illusion of space. Reach down to the side of the driver's seat, push that D button, and off you go. The acceleration is fine but of course top speed is reached quickly. It kept up with the traffic, which isn't saying much in London. The suspension is harsh but acceptable. I drove the little Amy around central London, Westminster Abbey, the west side of Buckingham Palace, Hyde Park Corner, up and down Park Lane, the east side of Buck House, the Mall, Trafalgar Square, Downing Street and the House of Commons. The Amy drew a lot of attention, some admiring, some fascinated, some incredulous, some of pity for a grown man driving around in what looks more like a child's toy than a proper car. In France it is rated as a quadricycle, which means it is not considered a real car because it is too slow. You don't need a driver's license there and you have to be at least 14.